All right, let's do this again. I, uh, I recorded this once before, but I didn't save the file right, so here we are. Here we are, my special little buddies. It's me, Hank, the cyberpunk hillbilly. And what am I talking about today? So sometimes when I'm working in the comic book store, standing behind the cash register, fucking shinging comic books for all the, all the kitties and the old folks who love comic books, people will ask me, Hank, you been uh, you been reading anything interesting lately? You been you been watching anything interesting? You been uh, you been you been seeing any any interesting fictions that you can you can let me in on? And I'm like, shit, man. I don't I don't know, man. I just fucking work here, man. I don't fucking know shit. No, I uh, recently I got back into a story. It came out back in 2016. I got into it a year or so after it came out. I think. And recently, I got fucking into it again. I reread the whole thing. I listened to audio versions of the whole thing. I listened to different podcasts, several different podcasts of people talking about the whole thing because I couldn't fucking get enough of it. Today, I want to talk to you all about the uh, the Flesh Interface series. Or rather, I want to start out by asking you a, a question. Do you read Mother Horse Eyes? What the fuck is Mother Horse Eyes? And what the, who the fuck is Mother Horse Eyes? And what the fuck is the Flesh Interface series? Well, to get into that, we have to talk about a website named uh, Reddit. I don't know if you kids know what Reddit is anymore, but oh, back in the day, it used to be quite an interesting website, and I guess it still is. It's, uh, it's like a collection of internet forums where you can talk about different topics. It's sort of separated into different topics to talk about, whether it's movies or fucking places or all sorts of crazy shit. Anyway, let's just assume you know what Reddit is. Back around 2016, these weird posts started showing up on Reddit. They were just comments on other larger posts, but they didn't seem to have anything to do with the thing they were commenting on. They were done by this person whose username was, I believe it's nine mother, nine horse, nine eyes, something like that. It's, it's mother horse eyes separated by a bunch of nines. These weird posts are showing up and they're this weird, like, alt-reality, body horror, conspiracy fiction stuff? I mean, when you're reading it, you can't tell if this person's just, like, maybe having a schizophrenic meltdown and, like, thinks the things they're posting about are real things, but there's this texture to it that, it, like, you, you can tell there's a lot of thought. This isn't just some random shit this person's saying. So, of course, some people start tracking it back down. They start seeing that if you go to this user and you see all the shit that they've been posting on all these different forums... They're actually telling a story. It's like they've taken a novel and they've broken it up into these chunks and they're publishing it all over the place. But it still has to do with the stuff that they're posting on. So, like, maybe it's being written on the fly as responses to things. We honestly don't know. So what's the story about? It's fucking weird. It's like all these different narratives, like narratives from different points of view. And it's this sort of alternate reality history thing where... The CIA and Nazis used LSD to create body horror entries to other universes that don't really make sense. It's uh, shades of uh, William Gibson's Hinterlands, maybe one of my top five very favorite William Gibson stories, which is saying something. Probably in my top two, two or three. Ah, anyway. What are we talking about? Flesh Interface series. So nobody actually knows who this author is, and they wind up writing themselves into the story. Like, it becomes a meta-narrative. It's fucking fascinating. It's easily one of the best things I've read. It's one of the best things I've read in the content itself. Like, I love what the story's about. I love the themes that it's talking about. I love the way it's written. Like, it's got some of the best, most powerful lines I've ever read in my fucking life for something this person threw away onto Reddit. Like, nobody could have found this. Nobody could have noticed. There's shit that people are publishing online every fucking day that goes unnoticed by the mass swath of people. But this thing is fucking amazing. And beyond that, like, there's what it's about. There's how the story's told. There's the meta aspect of it, like that the author writes themselves into the story. They make it a very personal thing. And they also make it this weird, like, magical, schizophrenically horrifying thing because it it lets you do the Blair Witch thing where it feels like found footage. Like you're finding this hole in reality where something horrible is getting in or something magical and surreal is getting in. I think that's part of why I get into it so much. I really love fiction that feels so fucking real you can tumble into it and start to lose your ability to understand where the story starts and stops and like what's real and what's not. Like who is this fucking person who wrote this whole thing? We don't fucking know and that's fascinating. 
fucking fascinating. They don't have a fucking Twitter account. You can look them up. They're not fucking represented by some agent. Not that we know. Nobody's ever taken credit for it. And it's this fucking incredible piece of fiction that's still just out there, this online thing. People have done audio readings of it. There's podcasts about it. And the other fascinating thing is that it's this vast mythology that I feel like is only partially explained and explored. And there's not nearly enough people talking about this shit online. Like, I have so many questions. I've had to start going to the Reddit to start asking people about it, saying, like, what does this mean? I can tell something means something here. And, you know, again, listening to these podcasts, like, oh, this podcast, they put this point and this point together. I didn't realize that. But they didn't see this other thing. But then this other thing I was listening to, they put these two things together, but they didn't notice that first thing. So it's like all of us are doing this blind man elephant routine where we're slowly piecing this thing together. And I think there's something there. I think every once in a while there's slightly, you know, I worry about the lost thing where there's sloppy writing and you're just trying to see something where there isn't. But for 99% of the story, like it, it feels very intentional and well conceived. And you know how much of this was done on the fly, how much of this was somebody taking a novel they'd already written and adapting it to the Reddit posts. There's sort of an implication that's what's going on when the author is getting meta and talking about themselves throughout the story. It's fucking incredible. It's one of the best things I've ever read. I can't recommend it to everybody, partially because it's really dark fucking content. It's definitely horror that deals with both the real world and savage surreal stuff, which will make a lot of people really uncomfortable. But if you like that kind of stuff like I do, it's fucking incredible. But then a lot of people aren't going to want to read this weird broken up narrative on Reddit, but you should. You should. It's really good. People have put it together in ways that make it really easy to read. You can listen to an audio version on YouTube. Personally, I think it's very apt to compare it to House of Leaves, the novel House of Leaves, which I've loved for years. But I think like Mother Horse Eyes sort of takes a lot of what I loved about House of Leaves and elevates it and does it much better with a lot of the fat trimmed away that wasn't as necessary. I'm just saying I like one book more than the other. I'm not saying one book's better than the other because that's fucking bullshit to quantify art that way like oh i think this book got 3.4 stars and i think the other book only got 2.5 stars fuck you and your fucking stars that shit's bullshit man just experience narratives experience art let it affect your life and if it's bullshit fucking do something else man fuck lord knows i would anyway people have been asking me hank you cyberpunk hillbilly what are you into these days? What are you what are you reading? What are you watching? <laughs> what what's twisting that weird noodle of yours? And to them I say Do you read Mother Horse Eyes? I think you should. I think everybody should. Well, I think cool people should read it. Anyways, I'm talking too much. This thing went on for too long. The first recording was fucked up and now it's gone on for too long the second time and it's all good it's all good man it's all good in the hood we're all fucking down in the kitchen baby what's i talking about all oh, right i'm hank the cyberpunk hillbilly and i'm your friend that's an important thing to remember and today i just wanted to talk about a thing i read recently that i really enjoyed that i wish more people were talking about and i wish more people were analyzing and explaining and making videos about so that i can watch those videos and try to understand it a little bit more because i love that shit i love getting deep into fucking fiction i love falling into it like you're falling into an alternate reality it's so fucking great it's my favorite fucking thing to do falling into stories anyways like i said i'm me you're you this is a video and now we're at the end of it Thank you so much for watching.